Uh, this is example two. We're going to take example one. We're going to show how we can do a different design. In this design, we're going to um, constrain the slopes in the y direction to let the water run across the field as, as necessary. So we'll first open up our old job, example one. Now what, rather than work on this job, we'll save this and we'll work on a new job. So go file, save as, and we'll call this example two. This way we can come back later and compare results if necessary. Now in this method, we'll click on what we call that no, first first thing we need to um, define how we wish the water to run this field. And with this, we use this axis here. Now if you come back here, that bearing, that's the bearing of the x-axis. So here we want it to be about 60 degrees. So put in 60. Yep, that's, that's good enough. And we click what we call a smooth surface. It's not actually, oh, I guess it is smooth depending on things, but we'll click on smooth. And we're going to, we're going to define some of these values now, minimum X and minimum Y. We don't, we're going to let the water run whichever way it wants across the field, but up the field. We're going to define a minimum value of 0.08%. Obviously, you can put your own values in here. And we'll say a maximum Y slope of 0.5%. Now we simply go to the grading menu, go grading, grading. Now again, we're going to ignore this smoothing and things at the end. We'll just run it as it is, click OK. Now it runs through as its thing as it gives us some results. So if we compare that to what we had before, our cut volume for a plane surface was minus 3872, so we're roughly a third. But we'll have a look at what we've produced. So click on contour, surface parameters, as before. We've already set up surface two in job one when we created this example two, these went across, so surface two is already here. Then click on OK. Now we just need to reform the contours. Excuse my mouse, it's not working very well. Contour, calculate contours. Now what this has done, this has created a design which um, ensures the water always slopes runs yeah it runs from the top to the bottom um, you can look at it, it looks a bit messy and stuff but for all intensive purposes that's probably the best you can do for this field but what we can do if we go back to the surface one click on grading again and grading now we also had an option here that said smoothing. What this does is just un runs a um, uh, what do you call it? A moving loose squares on the surface after we've done the land planing. Um, you know, there's other ways of doing this. You could put a spline surface. And other things this is just another smoothing thing. What these numbers are? This basically represents how far we look from each point to do the smoothing. Um, that's the max points used up to this distance and the smoothing value there is an effective distance, so that normally this distance is bigger than that. So we'll just go with what we've got here. It's a good start. Click OK. Let it run. And you know, you'll notice the volume should have gone up again. The cut volume's gone from minus 1100 to minus 1800. But if you look at the design surface and redo the contours, and, you know, you'll see why it's why well, it's gone up again, it's made a more aesthetically pleasing field. Um, whether it's neat or not, it's up to your judgment. The water doesn't care. Um, as before, we can look at the cut fills. So go to surface three. Okay. And that's our cut fill volume. 
you know, you've, I guess the thing to do is compare that to the Surface 1, which is just a plane. Um, if you go back to video one, have a look, there was a lot more yellow and cyan things. So, you know, and if you look at the thing, we've half, we're sort of halved the um, amount of dirt we're moving. Um, so that's what we call a smooth surface. Thank you.